Hi everyone, it's Amy from Nail Polish Baby 90 and welcome to another video. Um, this is the last one I'm filming today. I know you're probably bored of seeing this outfit in here, but this is the last one I'm recording today. Um, so the today, as you may have seen from my titles, this is going to be a review on the brand Lacalicious and focusing mainly on the four nail polish that I got sent from them recently. Um, a quick disclaimer, I did buy these myself, but I was offered a blogger discount from Michelle who owns like a delicious but I did pay for these and I will tell you the retail prices of them I'm in no way getting paid or told this is my actual opinion on what they are all that part of my discount deal was that I had to just post pictures of them and talk about them so I can say whatever I want they felt really corporate and that's really new for me but that's let's get on with it so the four ones that I bought I I have um, got a, did mention these in my haul video that um I think I'm going to bring putting up after this but anyway these are the four I got. When I actually got them out, I realised that I put picked mainly turquoise ones, but that wasn't intentional. Um, so we'll just go through them all. I'll tell you what I thought, and I will insert pictures for all of them. So we'll start them in the order that I wore them. So the first one is salt water. This is a really, really densely packed. Most of these are all in clear bases. A clear base, densely packed glitter. So we have hexes in white, like quite big, quite big white hexes, and then smaller hexes in a metallic blue, um, a light blue, and a white. And then running through all of it is the turquoise um, micro glitter, which is what gives it its dense appearance. This was really, really nice to use. Um, for a dense glitter, you normally have some application problems. With the first coat, it was a little bit patchy and a little bit... Um, it was okay, it was fine, but I, I was thinking after the first coat, I'm going to be here for hours because I'm going to have to do loads and loads of coats. But after the second coat, it's got a completely opaque. So let me show you. You can obviously, I think I did three. You can possibly skip a stage by doing just um, a light turquoise underneath. So this is what it looks like after two. So you can still see some visible nail through there, but very, very nice. Really um, applies really flat as well because sometimes with glitters they apply a bit bumpy so I will insert um, my two proper swatch photos right here for you so yeah really really great polish to start me off with and that was salt water they all retail for between eight and ten dollars um, she does mainly post to the US you can contact her if you want them sent to the UK but it's mainly driven on the US kind of market so the next one I tried what do we think was Lady Liberty this is obviously based on the Statue of Liberty and it's a lovely mix. It's, so it's that it's almost like dull turquoise colour with the um, gold and bronze shimmer and glitter run through it. Again, applied really nice like a dream. The glitter comes out really evenly, even though it kind of looks like it's all settled at the bottom. When you paint your nails, you get a very even amount of the glitter in it. Two coats again would get this completely opaque this time and that is what I've got on the nail wheel. So you can see the, the shimmer is quite subtle and quite a lot of people probably would think this is more work appropriate because you're not getting the um, glitter, where's the first one I showed you? You're not getting like, the glitter in your face, you're getting a very subtle shimmery glitter. So really, really nice and work appropriate and life appropriate. So that one was Lady Liberty and here are the swatches. The third one that I tried was my favourite. I'm going to talk about this for a few minutes now because this was absolutely amazing so this is called peacock tail and it's in a um turquoise jelly base and it's just one size glitter ran through so so nice this is possibly one of the best jam pack glitters i've ever used i'm i'm not just saying that it was i wore this for days and days it did not chip oh just loved it this is a swatch of it on the swatch wheel did you like my new little swatch wheel a video will be coming about this swatch wheel very soon um so look at that it's got a slight holographic to it, but it's mainly just the teal um, glitter, but so good. This was the one that I wasn't sure that I was going to buy when I was looking through them, so I'm really glad that I did. And again, here are your swatches. Finally, we have... Um, I don't say salt water, but I've already talked to you about salt water. And we have lava rocks. I believe these were kind of in a duo... They were next to each other on the website and they're kind of similar, salt water and lava rock, so I, I don't know. Um, this, I, I've probably done this in the wrong order, this is my least favourite of the collection. I think the reason why I didn't like it as much was because of the square glitter, can you see that? So this is mainly um, um, black, black jelly base with purple um, glitter in it with some little bits of blue just to make it more of that 
purpley effect but where some of this glitter was so large it would peep off the end of the nail you had to like push it down it also is very very hard to um, apply what I would probably do going forward is just wear a black and then one coat of this two coats of this is really really hard the final look of it all was amazing and I was really happy with it I did get a good couple of days wear out of it like I did with all of these I didn't take them off until they started to chip because I didn't want to swatch it take it off again because I wouldn't be able to tell you about the longevity of them because sometimes glitters can chip quite easy really really great once you've had it on but this is not going to be for beginners this is for someone who's going to want to sit and patiently paint their nails with it so those are the four let me just quickly show you the swatches for lava rocks so this is it on the nail wheel as you can see it's a little bit patchy at two coats but mainly mainly dense and here are the swatches So those are the four nail polishes that I picked up from the website. I'm always a bit wary when I go in trying some new brands for the first time because you don't want to spend a lot of money and not be that great quality. But they were amazing. I'm not just saying this at all. For glitter, densely packed. This is really, really good and high quality. Glitter nail polish, especially in the indie market, they're knocking them out of the park. Some OPI in that, they're creating new glitters, but this not in the same glitter combinations as the indie polish makers and i'm definitely going to be going more that way at the moment i've done a big haul on dollish polish that i will link for you and now with this i'm an indie lover um, i'm going to do a quick shout out again this is completely because i want to just do the shout out for you um, and this is to some polishes that they sell on the lacalicious website i'm going to link her instagram and um, michelle's instagram and the website lacalicious down below um she actually does nail polishes on there for charity and they have to do towards pitbull dogs so they are 15 pound 15 dollars and 10 pounds of that 10 sorry 10 dollars of that goes straight to charity and it's for a charity called fresh no bully rescue which is in california they're completely non-profit and rely completely on volunteers i'm just reading this from her website because i wanted to get it right for you um so they rescue pitbull bully breeds and dogs like that um to help control the overpopulation they really are pro in spaying and neutering your dogs because they've got so many pitbull dogs out there in america at the moment they just don't have homes and at the moment some places are you putting down dogs because they don't have homes and no dog should be like that because if you don't want to have the puppies and you don't want to have to deal with them you should definitely get your dogs neutered so for me i really am against and any animal being put down if they can be found a home so the money will get to donate donate money every one or two months to them like i say it's ten dollars out of the fifteen dollars that you pay um and if you want any information like i said check out the website i will link everything down below for you thank you so much for watching and i hope this is informative and i will see you all soon bye